Good morning, Debbie. Sorry this video is a little bit late. I'm here on my WordPress.com site, one of my WordPress.com sites. I just set up a new one because I couldn't remember the... Oh, yes. I set up a new one. Anyway, so I'm going to go through the process of um, getting around some of the restrictions on WordPress.com regarding uh, the affiliate links. So what you'll need to do is download the pictures that you're uh, looking to link instead of using um, just this code we're gonna do a little bit with it manually to be able to do it so what you need to do is right click go and find the picture that you want to put onto your site right click it and do save image and save it somewhere and then now we're gonna create a blog post go to a post add new post I'm just gonna do something really simple here simple test. Here I'm going to upload an image and I'm going to select it from here and I just happen to have a, a QR code <laughs> here that I made last night. You can scan it with your mobile image and it'll automatically go to one of my pages or something. Anyway, so when you add the stuff you have some information you can add here. And This is the important part right here. Okay, so I'm going to do a little demonstration for you and show if you take this is the code that you gave me. I just blew it up so that it's large enough to see. And what you're looking for is the ahref, and that's talking about the URL that uh, the site goes to, that the link goes to. The rest of it is the image that shows up and stuff like that. So you can actually load this up, uh, load this image URL up here to be able to download your image. But so we've got this here. I'm just going to copy that, which is the URL of where you want the link to go to. And if I just put it into here, which is the link URL, and I say test, test, just test for the heck of it. You don't have to fill those ones. T title you do. But I put that in there, and I insert it into post. Now, the picture is there, and I publish it. But now when I go across uh, to the front of the site, it actually ate it because it doesn't like affiliate codes. So what we're going to do is trick it. So now we click on that and go into edit. And we're going to take this URL, copy it, although it's already in my thing there. Oops, that's not it. That's my stats. Okay, we're going to go to uh, G O O dot G L Google and it's Google's URL shortener and I've already made one for it here but basically what you do is you paste it in there and you click on shorten and it'll create one for you here okay it'll create a, a short URL for you and then what you can do is take this URL copy it uh, go back to the right page, okay, this is the page with the link, put this in as the link, put the Google in as the link instead, okay, and then update it, and update that, and once it saves, go back to the simple page, shift, uh, hit reload, will force a reload on the page, and force the images to be reloaded on most browsers. So then now you can see this and you should be able to click through and it will go to Google which then redirects through to this page which is going to your uh, put your affiliate ID in there. So that's the process that you need to go through in order to get around the WordPress.com restrictions on um, the affiliate links because they generally don't like them. So if you have any questions uh, any further questions, let me know. You know where I am. Take care.